All right. Today I got this. Uh, oh, <coughs> sneezing with these allergies. Got the 14 extend extendable up to 14 foot power lever extendable pole saw and pruner. Uh, if you watch my other video, I had that hand chain. Uh, and I'll go into that here in a minute. Let me tell you a little bit about this one. Uh, so I looked on, I bought this at Lowe's. Uh, I looked on there and it showed they had a 16 foot, one 16 foot in stock. I uh, got there and couldn't find any of the 16 foot. The 14 was all that they had. They had a bunch of those. They probably had 30 of these. Uh, they're about half the price, but I really wanted that extra two feet for a couple of jobs I've got. If you don't need the 14, or if you don't need the extra couple feet, then this thing's pretty nice. Uh, the blade comes detached, super easy to put on. Just got a wing nut here. It's got a few different uh, positions you can put it on. Um, and this has a, it's not just a pole saw, it has the lopper feature too. So this, uh, rope extends all the way down to the bottom of the handle even when it's fully extended and all you do is pull on it and as you can see it's a lopper and it actually works pretty well uh, especially on the if you ever used one of these uh, the smaller limbs or really if a tree has a smaller base uh, not very sturdy it's really difficult to uh, try to saw that tree but I'm going to get this limb right here. I've already cut a few limbs, but um, show you how this extends out. It extends out pretty pretty nice and pretty sturdy. A lot, lot more sturdy than I was expecting, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's kind of tight to pull in there, but you got that section, this section, and this section. So if you go too far, there's a red line right there, and if you go past that, you went too far. Click back in there, lock this in place. And then extend your, let me get this rope out of the way. I don't want to saw it. Extend your pole up here. As you can see, that's a pretty perfect height. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this while I saw it, but I'm going to go ahead and get at it. But it's actually, uh, depending on what position you're in, it's really works really well uh saw's pretty quick this is a pretty thick limb here and starting to budge there let it come down slowly. Just take a few. And as you can see, there it comes. I don't want it to swing back and hit me. I don't think it will, but I'm more concerned with when it comes down. There you go. As you can see, there's our limb, pretty sizable limb, but that's gonna help open some of this up. And it was already uh, like halfway broken off at some point. Uh, but these little small limbs just get, see there's a dead limb on the other side right there. I'm gonna go get it while I'm here. There you go. So, uh, I give this product, about a nine out of 10. Uh, if you can reach it, you can pretty much saw it down. Uh, go over here and show you the diameter of this one. You can see 
decent diameter of that. Um, like I said, the extra two feet, I've got a couple issues. Now, that first limb that got hung up over here, once again, I can't reach it with this pole saw. Uh, the same with the other limb that I got my manual chain stuck in. It's still stuck in the tree and pole saw won't reach that either. So I think if I get a ladder out, I'll be able to get to, I know I'll be able to get to this one here. Um, and I think I'll be able to get to the other uh, with the ladder off the deck as well, but it's really trying to not get the ladder out. Um, but yeah, great product. Most, most everything from Fiskars is, is a really good product. Uh, like I said, and fairly decently priced. I think this was $54 for the 14 foot. The 16 was right at a hundred. Uh, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to pay that for two more feet unless you really just need that two more feet. Um, but pretty rigid, uh, as rigid as you need anyways. And I do like the, uh, the power level or whatever it's called. The, uh, yeah, power lever pruner, uh, makes it really nice because for a lot of, a lot of times you need to get rid of the small stuff because uh, these blades are pretty flexible and kind of get, if you've got a really full tree, it's sometimes kind of hard to get where you want to um, clip them. And even at that, it's, it takes all of 30 seconds to take the pole saw blade off uh, and you can just use the lopper or pruner, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so there it is, full lifetime warranty. Uh, don't know. Uh, I think the replaceable saw blades are about $15, 14, 13 or 15. Uh, they had a few of them there at Lowe's as well, but yeah, super easy, not much to it, but, uh, super handy. So thanks for watching. If this helped you out, uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you.